Hi, this is Mark Frechette from Georgetown County School District, and today I'm going to show you how to app smash. Um, basically, app smashing is when you use two different applications, or I guess two or more applications, to create one presentation or final project. Um, so with this, I'm actually going to be using a, a Google application as well as an extension. Um, so the Google application I'm going to use, as you can see right here, is Google Slides. And the um, extension that I'm going to use is right up here, and it's called Loom. It's a video recorder. Um, the reason I'm going to use these two together is because I'm going to take this slideshow and I'm going to go ahead and present it so that way um, I can add my voice and narrate it and control the timing of the slides um, and take somebody through the presentation. So that way I can post it, um, whether I want to post it online or to Google Classroom. But again, I'm going to create one presentation with this. Um, just a note, it's not going to do anything to my Google Slides as far as like saving over it, deleting it, or anything. This, this Google Slides project um, will remain the exact same. It's actually just going to create another file, um, which is going to be what I'm creating with Loom, which is going to be the video. So if you're not familiar with Loom, I'm going to use that first. You can see that um, I've got my Google Slides open. I'm going to come up here to Loom. I'm going to click on it. And for this, I'm going to use the um, options right now. You can see I've got screen plus cam. I've got a screen only recorder. I've got a camera only recorder. Uh, for the purpose of this, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just use this because it's different, the screen and cam. So you can see me speaking right down here. Um, hi. And what I'm going to do is I will record this presentation, um, or I guess a quick presentation, as I just announce my slides going through it. Um, so that way I don't have to bore you with this entire presentation. So again, here's uh, App Smashing. I've clicked on Loom. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit Start Recording. Um, Loom's going to ask me, do I want my entire screen, or do I just want an application window? I'm going to go ahead with, I've got two screens working right now, so I'm going to do this. You'll notice it'll count down. And so if I was using these two, what I would do is now that I'm inside of this and Loom is recording my screen, I'll go ahead and I'm going to come up here to present. And so now you can see if this was my presentation, I would welcome you to the presentation of the greatest football player of all time, uh, Walter Payton. And it is by myself. And then I would go in and I would talk about each slide of how he had an amazing 6,726 career rushing yards um, and is now in the Football Hall of Fame. I could click and go to the next one. I could talk about his contributions off the field, the numerous amount of charities and millions of dollars he's raised towards cancer research. And I could continue talking and presenting um, about the impact of Walter Payton, a.k.a. Sweetness, and how the NFL Man of the Year Award is now named after him. I could also talk about and make this into an annotated bibli bibliography when I talk about where it is that I got those um, the information from and those sources and how I used them in this. And when I'm done with my presentation, you'll notice that I'm just going to come right down here and I'm going to click on this. Um, what Loom does, what's nice, is it's going to go ahead and it's going to put that video in here. Um, and now, again, if I go back to my Google Slides, you'll notice that, again, this did absolutely nothing to editing um, or doing anything to my Google Slides presentation. So I'm going to go back into Loom, and this is a great feature of Loom. I can go ahead and I can trim my video. So if I was to go ahead and watch this uh, video and, and figure so out... if I was using where it was that I was going to go ahead and trim. Um, we'll say that I started this right around 16 seconds. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the trim tool. It's going to take me into the editor and I'm going to hit start trim. And you'll notice that again, oops, I'll go ahead and I'll control this. I said 16 seconds was right where I wanted to start the video. So I would go there and I could just hit remove. And what's going to happen is um, Loom's going to go ahead and they are going to, after I hit publish, they're going to start um, reconfiguring that video and taking out the front. When I'm all done with this, what's great is I can go ahead and from Loom, I can then copy this link 
and I can share this link with other people so that way they can see my video presentation now. So again, uh, app smashing, which is just a way to go ahead and use um, one app, which I use Google Slides, and I wanted to bring this presentation to life. And so I used an extension in this case in Loom, and went ahead and recorded, uh, made a screen recording of that video. And again, once Loom is kind of finished with the editing marks, I can just copy this link, and then I can turn in a presentation, um, a video presentation that I've created from my Google Slides and using Loom. So good luck app smashing.